our first wine is coming from Spain, uh, from the region of Rios Baixas, which is home for Albarino. Um, this is really an area that has become very popular in recent years. It's the native variety Albarino, also known as Albarino if you're in Portugal. Um, and as you can see in the picture, it is in an area that is very green and lush. So it's right on the Atlantic coast. So they have a maritime climate, which means you've got a lot of wet, cold, often damp weather. And one way that they can uh, deal with that, as you see in the top picture, is that they train the vines up on a high trellis. Um, you know, like a, in the, what they call a pata, um, but a pergola is the same thing, what they happen to call it a pata. But this is a way to um, maintain proper airflow and keep humidity from causing any uh, type of fungus disease. The other thing you can see in the picture there, I don't know if you can see that well, but there's these stone um, pillars that are holding up the trellis and those, um, they're granite, they're granite posts and it, the granite comes from the region of Rios Passas. So there's a lot of granite in the soil and the rock formation. And that, that often produces a wine that has a little bit of a minerality character. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see uh, the region of Rios Passas, and there are five sub-regions. Um, so the main region that we're going to be tasting today is from the Contado de Te, which is inland a little bit. Uh, because of that, it's, since it's a little bit inland, uh, it's a slightly warmer, and the Albariños from there tend to be a little bit lower in acidity, but also have a little bit more lush, almost like peach-like character. Um, and they're generally very easy to drink when they're young. So even though this is a 2022, uh, you know, we should be able to ha have this wine show quite well and be uh, delicious to drink.